Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing Koth's Battalion, which is a mono red artifact deck with just a slice, just a, a sliver of white in it to make it Boros. Does the oil from magic cards cause hair to grow on the palms of your hands? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, the Lord Commander of the Underground Headquarters, Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Thank you, my paid minions. You are too kind. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub. Uh, it is called Koth's Battalion, hosted by Pesmerga. Pre, Pesmerg, Merga. Let me try this out again. Pesmerga 1984. Pesmerga 1984. All right, so this is a new person. I've never seen him post a deck before. Uh, I'll detect to see what he's got anything good other than this one. But uh, when I saw the cards in this deck, oh, it called out to me. I've, you know, since uh, Obi-Wan's come out, I've been, we have just not been playing with Cityscape Leveler or the Battalion or Portal of Brexia. That's like completely disappeared and oh, came back. So when I saw Koth's fa face in here, I'm like, oh, it's got Obi-Wan cards in here. Good enough. We're playing this one again. So, uh, yeah. Relatively, this is a mono red artifact deck. Other great card we got tucked in here, Elish Norn. So she's the one that uh, doubles up on enter the battlefield attack uh, attempts, or what am I saying? Battle enter the battlefield triggers, which causes the trigger a second time. Where is that going to help out? It's going to help out um, burn down the house. Oh, ho, ho. oh, ho, ho. which means you get six devil tokens out of the deal. Uh, Skitterbeam Battalion, so you'll get an additional two, so you'll have five dudes. Uh, is there anything else that's happening on Enter the Battlefield? Uh, I'm looking real quick here. Yeah, that might just be it. So not a whole lot of Enter the Battle. Oh, this Cityscape Leveler. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I'm looking forward to having a little Elish Norn out, and then just double up on the amount of things that's going to happen when these other guys come into play. That's going to be so exciting. All right, so real quick, what does the deck do? Creature damage, creature damage. Uh, runs out, gets killed, gives you a treasure. This guy is a card draw. This guy is treasure and then creature copying. Clear the board of either creatures or artifacts. This guy gives you lots of mountains and potentially deals damage to people based upon the number of mountains you have. This guy is card draw. This one doubles into the, battle, uh, into the battlefield triggers. This one either clears the board or gives you a bunch of little devils. This guy gives you um, more mana and as well as card draw or creature removal. This one um, pumps up creatures. This one does kills things, destroys non-land non -land permanents, essentially. Uh, like every time it attacks or comes into the battlefield. This guy pumps out copies himself whenever he comes into play with trample and haste. And this one wipes the board and potent and brings back a creature from a graveyard to your side into the battlefield every upkeep. This card is fantastic because it takes any vehicles, to which you only have one, and turns them into uh, artifact creatures so they can attack without having to be rude. So yeah, I'm looking forward. This looks very exciting. Let's go see how it works. But first, our prayers. Dark King Toxrel, who dwells in the dark chambers of our hearts, Please bless us as we crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and listen to the lamentation of the women. I've been against Treff. One, two, three. A little bit of mana right there, potentially. All right. Eep. Let's 
Seen a lot of mono black today. Kind of weird. It hasn't really been present, and all of a sudden it's been like all over the place. Ooh, zombies too. More ghoulish procession. Others in in would wipe the board pretty nicely. All right, there's some mana for us. How does that not count? How does that not die? No, okay, there we go. All right, three. Let's get out. Another requisitioner. Sure. All right, so we're back down to three. This guy will give us four. We can start using this to look for more mana. Both will get us some mana, too. He attacks, those guys just die. He's definitely got a theme going on. All right, slow mana. This guy will get us some mana, hopefully. Pop out a couple more zombies because of that. Those guys die. I don't think we're getting anywhere with that. Let's submit that one. That's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy will give us seven. This would wipe the board. Let's go in for our mana to start off with. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to give him two more. It's a problem if I wipe the board. Just uh, play it safe. Of course, I have to lose dudes to the zombies at this point.
I'm just gonna happen. Whatever, man. Have a good time. Alright, everybody dies. Uh huh, uh huh. I don't want to cruise, sorry. No. Let's just remove something. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, Treff, let's make up our minds right here. Let's just do it. That's what we're really looking for. I don't have any more mana, do I? All right, then uh, let's crew up. Nah, cancel. That's just ridiculous. Oh, well, that's who we should be crewing on. Let's leave two guys behind. So one, two, three. Yeah, I'm boring. I'm the boring one. Victory. All right, then it gets Hawk. That was the coolest name in Alright, slow to go. We got a blur aim bolt. We got some mana dudes. So I need some other white to be able to play the Seraph. You gonna block it? Yes, he is. And we got another. All right, I think Visions of Phyrexia is our next path forward here.
And we win! Apparently that's all it takes. Victory! I play against Neon Grizzly. One, two, three. Keep. All right, so three, we can just kill everything. Don't mirror my fish. All right, two, I don't care. This guy's trying to semi toxic me, but we just haven't seen any toxic cards yet. This guy's waiting for things to leave the graveyard. Let's proliferate. Seems to be playing the low end creatures, which is really good for Brotherhood in. All right, four. Let's go ahead and abrade ourselves a Codma at this point. And I'll attack. See if he's willing to give up the Willow Geist for it. I was thinking, do I want to play the Skitter Beam Battalion on this next turn? No, that's kind of my wrap up. Alright, maybe it's time to put out Skitter Beam then. Of course, I need a mana for it. Ah, oh, five here in a second. Uh, decline. All attack. Unfortunately, now my brother's in is going to slaughter me. We're up to five. I need eight. I'll can get us in the right direction. Get ourselves land as one would want. All attack. Okay, so I've got four, five, six, seven, eight. I can put out the leveler on the next turn. What is he trying to proliferate? Is it like planeswalkers, maybe? And we win. Yeah, I don't think he got his deck together. Victory! Alright, playing against Jowry Savannah. Jowry Savannah. One, two, three. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, keep. It's actually got a good ramp to it. No, quiet down, little green baby. Just lay there. It's cool. Yeah, go to sleep. Hey there, Cuber. I will never put you to sleep, baby. Don't worry. That's weird. You know, it's like a brother's... Well, there's wars over. I mean, it's down. I mean, it's still perfectly in line. Yeah, you never see artifacts anymore. This guy's were the bee's knees just a second ago. I just were all so excited about playing Obi Wan that we pretty much dumped 
like super artifacts. I mean, we'll get back to it, definitely. I mean, we still got a whole nother year with them, practically. Year and a half? Yeah, we gotta wait till September of 2024. That guy's a super jerk. And bait him out a little bit longer, maybe? Probably should do that. I doubt he's going to get some big dudes out. He'll probably put them out more of the little guys. Come on, I at least want to attack once to get a man off of him. Come on, my man. I'm surprised he didn't go for the fable at that point. I gotta blow. I gotta blow this popsicle stand. Put another creature out so I feel better about killing everything. There we go. Uh, we're not going to get to you. Double coughs, huh? Here's number four. Let's, uh, we could definitely get one back with this. Let's just do it. All right, so next turn we'll be able to put out the Skitterbeam Battalion. Nobody expects the Skitterbeam Battalion. Alyssa. You did it. You untapped. Congratulations, my friend. Koth can totally kill Glissa, so that's good. Touching her. I'm touching her. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. And we will skitter beam. Now he thinks he's got options. He touched his cards. Ah, uh, he doesn't have anything going on. All right. Next to attackers, we'll send the card that way and the two tokens straight at his face. Nice! I'm coming after her. There's nothing you can do to save her. Alright, maybe you can a little bit. I still have a solution, though. You gonna force a sacrifice? Ooh, that's a good solution right there. Uh, let's just do it. Nope. Next to combat, next to attackers. One, two, go right there. One, two, there we go. Suck it, sucker fish. Victory. All right, I'm playing against Rin. One 
One, two, three. All right, we're going to keep it. Keep. All right, two. We'll get ourselves a requisitioner out. What are we playing up here? Like Esper? Yeah, Esper. Esper Soldier, huh? All right, so three for slow. Let's just go in for the attack. Force them to sacrifice it, give us a mana. So a little board wipe's not going to hurt too much. Yeah, definitely to be good. All right, you got one mana. All right, I'm not particularly too worried about it. I got another. <laughs> there is another Skywalker. How dare you double tap me like that? Ciao. All right, so I've got four mana, five, six. I'm not getting anywhere close to an eight. Let's, uh, Visions of Phyrexia. That thing is so good. I just got to give it the opportunity. Plus, it's going to lead us into these artifacts like crazy. So I got five, that's six. Don't destroy it. All right, we can mount it. We'll put this out. Use his ability to deal four points of damage. Seven. They okay, just leave it so we can get that thing. That's what we need to do. And I have eight at this point. Uh, nope, I'm not going after him. And we win the game. All right, Cityscape Leveler, thank you so much. Victory! All right, so here we are with Koth's Battalion. Uh, my win rate for this deck out of 11 games is 73%, making it a competitive deck. So uh, who was the hero of this deck? It was, I gotta believe it was Koth. Koth was the, the hero of the deck, in my opinion. He was the middle player that managed to escalate you from mid game to uh, late game as quickly as possible. So, uh, yeah, good job, Kotha. You're the MVP for this particular round. We're gonna get you into a, uh, you know, a beer commercial endorsement there. Uh, so, was this deck competitive? And with my play, 73%. Absolutely, those are some good numbers right there. Uh, where did it lose out? I went up against. Golgari, Golgari twice. Uh, one time was because Phyrexian Obliterator. I just could not get around that guy. Uh, another time was with Demir. And a lot of graveyard recursion was hard to deal with. Because this deck has creature control, right? We can take things out. But when they keep bringing them back from the graveyard, that is beyond our ability to deal with in, a, in an enduring sort of way. Um, yeah, so competitive deck. Absolutely. Checkbox. Was this deck fun? Okay, from a Dr. Suckett position, this deck had everything that made it fun. 
as far as you just had red mana, you had giant, awesome mecha creatures, you had um, cards that did uh, synergy to sort of bring these things in, a sort of ramp facility. Uh, the big person I like to see in here was Elish Norn, and I understood why she was in here, yet it didn't seem like we got the opportunity. It just didn't work out. I felt so bad about it. But her having seven for a butt and vigilance is fantastic. If anything, I felt like I just didn't understand this deck enough, and I was still struggling to learn how all the pieces needed to come together to work out. It's one of those decks I feel like I need to play more to really get a handle to it. But this deck is, is really calling to me. So I think it is a fun deck. I like it quite a bit. Lastly, was this deck interesting? And yes, I think it is interesting. I Because you did get the opportunity to try to plan out your steps, to think about how things were going to happen, and then to um, make use of... What was in here? It's basically Koth is the Obi-Wan card. We haven't seen Obliterating Bolt being played in Brothers War, but there it is. And it's come in, and, you know, it's actually pretty decent. I think the reason why is because you can only target creatures and planeswalkers, and we've been playing a lot of uh, base cards recently. Up until, you know, up until recently, we've been worried about that. But it's nice being back into the Brothers War's giant mecha creatures, especially Skitterbeam Battalion. I missed you so much, Skitterbeam. You're practically, you know, a artifact version of tox roll in my heart so anyways there you go i found this deck to be really just the gameplay of it is what made it interesting to me i mean the cards are the cards we've been playing with but also being that it's mostly a mono black or mono red deck and yet it's still not mono redding we're going for the full mono red artifact it was great it was a great deck i wish i could have used mech hanger at some point that would have been super cool I just, this deck has got, it's just so chock fun of fun cards. I look forward to playing it again, really. All right, so it is competitive, fun, and interesting. So this is an A-plus deck. It is so choice that I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. All right, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Later.